Hey guys, philodendron have to be one of the best types of houseplants out there. There are a ton of varieties and there's a lot of benefits to owning and caring for philodendron. Hey. Of course, there are some hugely popular philodendron out there at the moment, like the Pink Princess. In this video, I'm going to be sharing all of the crucial care tips that you need to know for these beautiful plants, as well as taking a closer look at the Prince of Orange and Macaulay's finale. Which do you prefer? Often confused for one another, it's no coincidence that the philodendron, commonly known as Prince of Orange, and the philodendron known as Macaulay's finale are similar in appearance. So what sets them apart and what makes them similar? Taking a closer look at these two philodendron varieties and understanding some of the key differences and similarities will probably make you a better plant parent, as well as help you understand which of these two varieties is better suited for you, if not at least help you understand and correctly identify each of these varieties at your local nursery. Thanks for checking out this video. I'm Tyler, and if you like what you're seeing or you find this video to be useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, or better yet, you can subscribe to my channel. So before jumping into some of these critical details about these two varieties of philodendron, let's discuss some of the basic care tips regardless of which philodendron you may have. These are the basic care conditions for philodendron. The ideal growing conditions for philodendron when it comes to lighting is dapple or bright indirect light. These plants will thrive when set back from a south facing window. In terms of watering your philodendron, what you're going to want to do is check the topsoil for dryness and when that top inch is dry, that's a really good indication that it's a time to water uh, your plant. Now, I don't usually bottom water my philodendron like I do with some of my other plants, for example, my Hoya, but I do like to keep a close eye on the soil moisture level so that um, I can get the timing right on watering these plants when that top inch is dry. When it comes to a soil composition, I basically exclusively use uh, a certain mix for my philodendron, which uh, is basically peat moss, coco coir, and and perlite. Now, sometimes I will go ahead and add some bark to really loosen the soil as well as give it some added aeration. Finally, uh, as for the basics go, when it comes to humidity, you're going to want to provide a good, decent amount of humidity for your philodendron, uh, at least 50%, if not slightly higher, uh, will do just fine. A hygrometer and a humidifier are never a bad idea. I have a total of seven different philodendron varieties in my home alone, so these are definitely one of my preferred types of houseplants. Now, let me know in the comments down below if you prefer the orange-colored new foliage on the Prince of Orange, or do you prefer the cherry red new foliage on Macaulay's Finale? Both of these varieties of philodendron are hybrids, and like I mentioned, the new foliage comes in this reddish orange color, or a more of an orange color depending on the variety. Now, obviously, these examples that I have here are hugely different in terms of their size, and this is partly why I could not resist this large, mature Macaulay's Finale when I found him at my local nursery. Now, my Prince of Orange, on the other hand, is a lot smaller and more of a starter plant. I've had him for much longer, despite his very small size. There are, however, some things you should know about these two varieties of philodendron. To really show me some love, click the bell for alerts and notifications 
for future content. Unlike many other varieties, these two varieties of philodendron are not climbers and will not vine um, up a stake or moss pole. At their largest, they can, however, reach about a size of two feet wide by about two feet tall. So they do typically grow in more of these clumps or bush-like shapes, which is a lot more compact than your typical vining philodendron. So that means you don't need to worry about staking or creating some sort of moss pool for either of for either of these varieties of philodendron. In a sense, this is great because these two varieties are a little bit less complicated than your average climbing uh, philodendron. Now, another pro tip, something that I actually discussed quite a bit in my pink houseplants video, I'll throw up a link. Now, for these plants to maintain that cool pop of cherry red and that sort of burnt orange, on the new foliage, you need to really make sure that these plants are receiving the correct amount of light. And that means the more bright, indirect light that they're receiving, the more likely are, you are to um, have plants that really have vibrant oranges and reds on that new foliage. So another way to think about this is if your new foliage is coming in more green than orange or red, this is a great indication that you need to provide your philodendron, uh, Prince of Orange or Macaulay's Finale more bright and direct light. If you're interested in more content like this, please give this video a, a thumbs up or leave a comment down below. And then the next thing that is worth mentioning, I guess that could kind of go without saying, is that um, as your new foliage comes in and that orange or reddish color, over time as those leaves mature, they actually develop and grow and change into a green color. So it's only as the new foliage comes in that you get the color. Over time, it reverts back to a green color. Which brings me to some of the few main differences between these plants other than the color of the new foliage. Now, the green foliage on the Prince of Orange, which is the smaller guy here, is typically a lighter, more vibrant green. Now, I'm not sure how much I'm, of that I'm seeing on these two plants, but that is typically, I think, what you'll find. Another really important difference between these two varieties is a leaf shape, and I'm going to point out those differences right now. The Prince of Orange typically has a lot sort of a more narrow, pointier uh, leaf, whereas Macaulay's Finale, the leaf is a lot broader, um, it's less pointy, um, so that's a really important difference, especially if you're at your local nursery trying to understand which of the two varieties you have. Take a look at the leaf shape, and typically, like I said, the Prince of Orange has a lot more of a narrow sort of arrowhead uh, shape, whereas Macaulay's Finale, you're getting a lot of more of a broader, wider leaf. Now, some folks say that the Macaulay's Finale is a more disease resistant, healthier plant, but at the end of the day, I'm going to leave it up to you to decide which you prefer, or are you like me and going to end up with both varieties? Well, that's it for me. Oh yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up or hit that subscribe button. Miss you guys already. Until the next one.